Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Live to Excel. Today we'll take a look at some time-saving mouse shortcuts. The first shortcut I'd like to look at is right-click and I. When highlighting columns or rows, this will insert a column or row. Right-click and I. And the same can be done for any rows. Right click and delete or D is also very helpful. And again, it can be used for rows and columns. Right click and H hides the columns or rows that are selected. Right click and U unhides the columns and rows. Right click and C copies the data and right click and V pastes the values. Another handy keyboard shortcut is right click and F. This opens the format cells dialog box. Another really cool trick to link or paste values is to highlight the cells you want to paste and right click then drag and drop the cells back and you'll be given several options. One is to copy here as values only. Now the formulas have been taken away and we can see only the values remain. You can also right click and drag and link the cells. And now it equals D2. Another time saving mouse shortcut is to double click the cell. By doing this, you'll enter the edit mode of the cell and be able to edit any of the text desired. Another super handy mouse shortcut is double clicking the fill handle, which is this button that you see here. By double clicking this, we're able to copy this formula down 1000 rows without having to drag and drag and drag and watch the window scroll and scroll and scroll. That just takes too long. So let's just double click and send the formula all the way down to the bottom. A real handy way to navigate cells and tables in Excel is by double clicking on the edge of the cells. Once the cursor becomes a pointed arrow or a four-way arrow, double click the bottom of it to go to the bottom of that table. Same can be done for right and left and up. It's a very quick way to navigate with the mouse. Another great double click trick with the mouse is to highlight columns and double click in between the column header in order to resize the columns properly. The same can be done with rows. If you don't feel like doing individual columns or rows, then you can click here to highlight all cells and resize the columns and headers as needed. Another great double click trick is to double click inside a shape to then edit that text. The same command could be done by right clicking and edit text but double clicking will do the job just fine. Another great double click trick is to highlight any of the cells with formatting that you would like and double click the format painter. By double clicking you've locked the format painter so now you can just click anywhere you would like to apply that same formatting without having to go back to the format painter button. To edit this or escape just press the escape key or click on the format painter button. Double clicking a tab will allow you to rename the tab. And double clicking on a word allows you to highlight or select that entire word. Triple clicking will not only highlight that word, but also highlight all other text in that paragraph. And my final double click trick is to double click up here on the file in Excel. And you'll be asked whether you want to close the document. Again, another quick way just to close the document. I hope you've enjoyed our look at mouse shortcuts today. Thank you very much for watching, and until the next time, keep living to excel.